Well, praise the Lord, everybody. It's praise good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Hold on. I have to go. There we go. Now I got no more echo. <laughs> praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighteth the, uh, greatly in his commands. Amen. His seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation uh, of the upright shall be blessed. The Lord is in his holy temple that all the earth keeps silent before him. Amen. I will turn it over now into the hands of our, our, our worship leader, who is not Deacon Aaron Jarrett, but actually it will be Sister Mary and Sylvester Irons. Praise the Lord, everyone. Thank you for joining us this morning. We thank you for being with us, and we invite you to be with us every Sunday at 1 p.m. We are grateful for Reverend Dr. J. Lauren Russell being with us and bringing us the word of God. May we have a word of prayer, please? Father, we come to thee this morning, thanking you, dear God, for another day, a day that we have never seen before. Thank you, dear God, for allowing us to worship you in spirit and in truth. Bless this service to God that it may be to your honor and glory. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. And if you have a scripture or a song, that would be yes. fun. Yes, we do have a scripture and we do have a song. Let's go to the scripture first. Mm -hmm. And there we go. It's um, coming from the book of Psalms, chapter one, not uh, chapter, the 119th Psalm, right. 161 through 168 from the New King James Version. It will not be read by Sister uh, Carolyn Bierce. Are you going to read it? Can you read it? I'm going to read it. Perfect. It's a little small, but I can read it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Princes persecute me without a cause but my heart stands in awe of your word. I rejoice at your word as one who finds great treasure. I hate and abhor lying, but I love your law. Seven times a day, I praise you because of your righteous judgments. Great peace have those who love your law and nothing causes them to stumble. Lord, I hope for your salvation, and I do your commandments. My soul keeps your testimony, and I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and your testimonies, for all my ways are before you. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. It is already blessed. We thank God. Amen. You want to pray for us too? It's may as well, since you're doing everything. Amen. Okay. Father, we come to thee once again. We thank you, dear God, for this day. We ask you, dear God, to bless those of us that are here, it, though small in number. We still thank you, God. And we ask you, dear God, to bless those members who are traveling, bless those members who are, have to be at other places at this time. Those, dear God, who have moved on to do more things for themselves and those who are in other states. Jesus, we ask you, dear God, to be with them and guide them wherever they go. Bless Reverend Russell as he brings the word to us and let us rejoice in the Lord. For you said where two or three are gathered in your name, you will be in the midst. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We do have a selection which we will play for. That's when he blessed me. That's when he blessed me. My life was torn beyond repair. I felt so alone. See, no one cared. You came along. Gave me a song to ease the pain and erase the strain.
That's when you bless me. You know, we don't own the rights to this, this music, but it sounds so good. We have to play, <laughs> play it. I have to play I'm going to turn it over to now Brother Bird, who will lead us in our offertory period. Give as the Luke 638 scripture says, and it shall be given unto you in good measure, pressed down and shaken together, and running over shall men give into your bosom. But with the same measure that ye meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. Amen. Lord, we ask you to bless this offering, bless the hearts of the givers, bless the purpose for what it is given, 
the church, the community, and those in need. God, we pray for you to be with you. Amen. If you're given by Cash App, it is dollar sign E C O G B X. That is dollar sign E C O G B X. And if you're going to send a, a check or money order, it would go to the Evangelical Church of God, 1205 Washington Avenue, Bronx, New York, 10456. That's the Evangelical Church of God, 1205 Washington Avenue, Bronx, New York, 10456. And for those that on Facebook and online, uh, we urge you to remember that we're not passing the plate before you for the for the preacher. So your giving should include what the preacher is due as the Bible says. The worker is due what his labor exerts. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Well, we have one more selection for you. It's real good. And, uh, unspeakable joy is what we have today. Uh, unspeakable joy. I get joy. Joy, joy, joy. Unspeakable joy. Again, no rights to the music. We're playing it. Amen.
I got joy, unspeakable joy. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. So That's we're going to have our introduction of the uh, uh, of yours truly. Yeah. We'll do that. Yes. Um, we'll get that going. I'll share it again. That's mm -hmm. it. Okay, here we go. Yes, and good afternoon, everyone. Yes, and good afternoon. It's a great pleasure in introducing to you our speaker for this afternoon. He's a very talented, well-respected. He's none other than Dr. Reverend J. Lauren Russell. He's president and CEO of JLR Company for Church Financial Strategy and Consulting, an Associate Minister of both Goodwill and Greater Universal Baptist Churches in the Bronx, creator and host of Matters of Faith, the radio show Mondays 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Facebook Live. He's also the author of the book, Matters of Faith. Again, on behalf of our church, Evangelical Church of God, located at 1205 Washington Avenue in the Bronx. Welcome to Dr. Reverend J. Lauren Russell. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you in your absenture. Mm -hmm. You did a good job. Yes. That. that was good. I like that. Uh, let's see. Let's go back and let's do a new share. Let's stop that one. And we want to share with you something new. Mm -hmm. We will give us a new song that we can sing. Mm -hmm. This is our final selection, and then we'll, the next voice that you will hear will be that of yours truly. Amen. There. Mm -hmm. So, um, yep. So yeah, this is good. It's a good day to be in the Lord. It's a good day to be here with you. It's a good day to be here, period. Just to be in the presence of God. What?
Amen. 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 Again, I say rejoice. Again, I say rejoice. Praise the Lord, everybody. It's so good to be in the house of the Lord. It's so good to be here with you today. God is good all the time. Yes. All the time, God is good. I want to bring you greetings from the both Goodwill and the Great Universal Baptist Churches, our pastors, Reverend Dr. Uh, Booker T. Sears Jr., and of course, the retired pastor at the Great Universal, who's my pastor as well as Reverend Dr. Daniel Dupree, and the new pastor is Reverend Gregory Coward. And we bring you greetings from them as well as the Great Baptist Church, which is just down the street and around the corner from mm -hmm. the Evangelical Church of God, but they certainly send their prayers in their regards. And I greet you all in the marvelous name of Jesus, who is the Christ. I'm humbled, honored, and blessed, really, to be in the sacred place to share a sacred word to his sacred people at this sacred time. Amen. Thank you for the from the depths of my heart. And certainly from the JLR company, you know, for those of you who follow Matters of Faith, I really appreciate that. Really appreciate the support. Those who read the article, I hope and pray that you read it this morning because that's what I'm going to preach about. Right. It, it's, it's in the Bronx Chronicle. It's in the Yonkers Insider. It's in Better Mag Magazine. It's in Black Westchester Magazine. It's in Pamela's Big Heart Newsletter. And, mm -hmm. uh, and of course, on Monday nights, those of you who follow Matters of Faith, the radio show, we're always live Monday nights from 8 to 10 p.m. on Matters of Faith, as well as the J. Long Russell Facebook groups. And I appreciate the support. I really do. And even those of you who, who purchased the book, Matters of Faith, the book, mm -hmm. uh, either you got it hard copy or you got it uh, as a e-book, whichever, it doesn't matter. As long mm -hmm. as you get it, it should be a blessing in your life. Yeah. www.smashwords.com backslash books backslash view backslash 993177 that would be the way in which you get the book uh mm -hmm. and i would encourage you to do that i really do i think it, it, it truly bless your life so uh and that's a shameless plug but i'm gonna do it anyway that's all right <laughs> <Do it anyway. laughs> and certainly last but not least i want to i want to certainly um recognize my wife who has been really by my side all of my life i mean truly i mean we've been together 35 years that's that's more than half Amen. of my life Mm -hmm. and, and 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 so I, I i just i just thank god for her because um you know she just she's just there she's just <laughs> there so I, I appreciate the fact that she is there with me and for me and um she she absolutely shows up when necessary now some of y'all may not see her but that's mm -hmm. okay you don't have to see her um but she's mm -hmm. trust me she's there trust me she's there and yeah. so having said that having said that let me do what the Lord has called us to do. You've heard the scripture reading. For those of you who weren't here when the scripture was read, it's from Psalm 119, from verses 161 through 168. 161 through 168. But I only look at, I only want to look at one verse, verse 162. Man. I rejoice at your word as one who finds great treasure. Yeah. I rejoice at your word as one who finds great treasure. And what I want to talk with you about today is this. Rejoice with me. Rejoice with me. Yeah. Let's pray for a moment. Father, we do want to thank you this afternoon for this opportunity to be at this sacred hour, at this sacred time, to preach a sacred word to a dying world. Father, I pray that you would now speak to me, speak through me, speak for me, so that you won't speak against me on that great getting up morning. And oh God, as is my prayer always, even as the sugar hides itself in the tea, I pray that you'll allow me to hide myself in thee so that these, your people, will see all of thee and none of me. Yes. Blessings we ask in the mighty name of Christ and for his sake we pray. Amen. Amen. Rejoice with me. Rejoice with me. Do you know much about 119th Psalm? I wonder how many read it or have read it in its entirety. You know, it's the longest single section in the Bible. Notice that I didn't say chapter. Mm -hmm. because the Psalms is a book of songs. That's right. Like the other books in the Bible that is made up of chapters. Right. The Blue Letter Bible says of Psalm 119, the general scope and design of it is to magnify the law and make it honorable, to set forth the excellency and usefulness of divine revelation and to recommend it to us not only as for entertainment, but for the government of ourselves by mm -hmm. the psalmist's own example who speaks by experience of the benefit of it and of the good impressions made unto him by it. 
for which he praises God and earnestly prays from first to last for the continents of God's grace with him to direct and quicken him in the way of his duty. Now that's a mouthful. But all that the writer is saying is that David, who is the author of the 119th Psalm, is saying in this Psalm that the word of God, which is in the Old Testament, the law of God, is magnified in our lives and makes us honor and reverence it. That in its own life, in his own life, he can testify that the law of God is perfect and gives us divine revelation and direction for everyday life. From, rec from recreation to how we govern our society and how we govern ourselves. David speaks from his own experience because he has personally experienced the benefit of knowing the word and the law of God. Mm. He knows intimately the good impression it has made in his life and praises God. Yeah. Praise to God. From the time he arises in the morning until the time he goes to bed at night, from first to last. Yes. And the continuous, the continuing of God's grace in his life. And finally, <clears throat> that the Lord's grace in his life directs and quickens or makes, acute, makes him acutely aware of yes. what the Lord is directly doing for him, to him, and teaching him how to live. Yes. Now, I hope you can imagine, just imagine the life David must have been living that was completely and totally devoted to and guided by the spirit of the living God. Yeah. Now, I don't know about you, but mm -hmm. I don't want a life, my life, mm -hmm. to be like David's life. Hear me now. Amen. Now, David was a soldier mm -hmm. who killed tens of thousands of his enemies. He was an adulterer who stole another man's wife. Mm -hmm. He was a murderer who had his mistress's husband killed. He was a man who was granted grace by God and then called a man after God's own heart. I want a, a life like David, mm -hmm. given, forgiven. That's what I want. I want to be forgiven. I don't have to be jealous of David because I have the same gift of mercy that he had. When Jesus died on Calvary's cross, I now magnify the Lord and make it honorable mm -hmm. to set forth the excellency and usefulness of divine revelation. And I recommend it to you, not only for your entertainment, but for the government of yourselves, not by the psalmist's example, but by my own. Not by David's example, but for my own. I know what I've lived. Mm -hmm. So I take this moment to recommend it to you and invite you to celebrate with me. I invite you to rejoice with me. Yeah, yeah rejoice with me. And the 162nd verse of Psalms 119, King David says that he rejoices at your word. Did you see it in the text? Your yeah. word. Whenever the word you, your, he, him, or his is capitalized, mm -hmm. the inference is that the writer is referencing God. Mm -hmm. He's the big eye. Right. It's in the word or the law of God that David rejoices. It is in the Lord that he finds great treasure. Yes. A great treasure. I said a great treasure. Mm -hmm. Rejoice with me. Rejoice with me. The Blue Letter Bible goes on to say that David took pleasure in reading it, hearing it, meditating on it, and that everything he met with, it was agreeable to him if it was found in the word of God. Yes. I, I'm joining with David and rejoicing for the same reasons in his word, I have found great treasure. Rejoice with me. Rejoice with me. Now on a personal note, here we go now, on a personal note, tomorrow is the day I came into the world. Tomorrow is the day I celebrate my birthday. And if I can be transparent for a moment, it took a long time for me to become aware of the majesty of the word of God, the yeah. law of God. Yeah. I wandered in darkness and confusion for a long time. I remember coming out of the darkness when I was in my teens and I was baptized. And my sister told me that I came up out of the water with the glow all around me. She said, I, I remember asking daddy, why is he glowing like that? And my <laughs> father said, he's got the Holy Ghost on him. 
Yes, yes. But I didn't know that. She told it to me later on when I was in seminary and I was writing a paper about it, my, mm -hmm. my conversion experience. And, mm -hmm. and she told me that she remembered that day. I didn't know she I didn't know she remembered it at all. Yes. All I was doing was standing in the light of God. Yes. Amen. The light had not gotten into me. It was on me, but it wasn't into me. Mm -hmm. So I soon left the church and wandered around for a long time mm -hmm. while I was wandering. I always remember the feeling of being in the light. Yes. This is long to go back. Mm -hmm. Rejoice with me. If you ever stand in the light of God, you will want more. Yes. Some people have hardened their hearts so much that they're stuck mm. right where they are. Mm. They can be standing in the presence of the Lord God himself, Jesus Christ, the light of the world, and still live in darkness. Yes. But I digress. I digress. Since the moment the Lord came into my life, he has been unfolding and unearthing untold treasures for me, not treasures that I could put into the bank. I don't have a big, fat bank account. Well, he has never failed, though, to amaze me with his generosity. Yes. If I had to enumerate or count the value of the treasures that he placed in my life, I would come up short every time. But I can say that he has enriched my life. And I rejoice because the Lord has gifted me with everything that I have, my life, my health, my strength, my family, my wife, yes. my friends, my work, even the service that I do over and above my work. He has forgiven me of everything that I ever did that violated his holiness. And one more day, tomorrow, Mm -hmm. will have granted me another orbit around the sun. Amen. So I invite you to rejoice with me. Amen. And this is an invitation. As I recommend to you this great and magnanimous God, whose son made it possible for you and everyone in this world to rejoice in his word and find great treasure, I invite you to rejoice with me on my day of birth because there is great treasure waiting for you. Amen. There's a treasure of blessings waiting for you. You are not worthless because there's a great treasure of blessings waiting for you. You are not useless. There's a great treasure of blessings waiting for you. You are not hopeless. There's a great treasure of blessings yes. waiting for you. You are valued because there's a great blessing of treasures waiting for you. You are valuable because you have treasures of blessings waiting for you. You are treasured. You are a treasure. There's great treasures of blessings just waiting for you beyond your wildest dreams. And you thought when you came into the body of Christ, you wouldn't be welcome. Mm -hmm. that you wouldn't be appreciated. Mm -hmm. that you wouldn't be valued. Wow. Well, you have a treasure of blessings waiting for you. All you need to do is receive them. So rejoice with me. You know, you know, Rejoice, joy, you heard that, unspeakable joy, I played that. The word joy appears 165 times in 155 verses in the King James Bible. Did you hear me? 165 times in 155 verses in the King James Bible. Joy is characteristic of the deepest emotions of the human experience. It prompts elated cheerfulness that finds its expression in notable physical actions like leaping and shouting yes. and clapping and singing. Joy in the biblical view is what happens to us when we are in fellowship with God. Yes. That's joy. Joy, mm -hmm. joy, 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 joy. That's the treasure the Lord wants you and he wants to give it to you. Joy yes. and happiness. Yes. Now, you know, there's a difference between- Don't you hungry? There's a difference between joy and happiness. You sure? Happy, 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 happy. Happy is defined by Webster's as feeling treasure or pleasure and enjoyment because of your life, situations, your circumstances, things that go on around you make you happy. But joy is defined as a source of or cause of great happiness. Happiness is a result of joy, but joy is a source of all <laughs> happiness. Yes, yes. Happiness depends on the external or things on the outside. But joy comes from the internal, 
the things going on on the inside. Yes. It's time to our, the Lord said, rejoice. I rejoice in your word as one who finds great treasure. Yes. And I want you to rejoice with me because it's party time. You know, it's party time. All right. Rejoice with me because it's party time. Remember what the psalmist wrote? I rejoice at your word. Yes. As one who finds great treasure. Rejoice with me. Remember yes. what Jesus said. If you ask the father for anything in my name, he will give it to you. Until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive so that your joy may be made full. Rejoice with me. Remember what the Bible said. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give unto your bosom. It's party time. So rejoice with me. I rejoice at your word as one who finds great treasure. Rejoice with me. Yes. Now here it is. The greatest joy. There is more rejoicing in heaven over one that repented than over 99 just ones. Mm -hmm. The greatest joy is the joy that takes place in heaven when one person repented than over 99 just ones. So yeah. rejoice with me because I'm one of those that came out of the 99. I'm one of those who stepped in. You're one of those who stepped in. There's more joy going on in heaven over one that repented than over 99 just ones. Rejoice with me. The angels are ready to party. And you know, there ain't no reason. There ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party because a Holy Ghost party don't stop. Yeah. Are you ready to give the, the angels a reason to rejoice? I'm telling you, there ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party because the Holy Ghost party don't stop. Yes. There will be a, a Holy Ghost party. And there ain't no party like mm -hmm. a Holy Ghost party. Because Amen. A Holy Ghost party don't stop. All right. Rejoice with me. It's time. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. The angels will begin crying out. Look at your people, Lord. Jesus, the Lord says, I'll hear from heaven. The angels will cry out. There'll be a heavenly host, a party. It will be a party going on. And the heavenly host will be, will be hosting that party because there ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party. And the Holy Ghost party don't stop. Don't stop. The angels will be crying out. Come unto me, all of you who labor, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burdens are light. Jesus wants you to come to him and rejoice because he's given you all that you need. Remember, he says, the psalmist says, I rejoice at your word as one who finds great treasure. God is waiting to bless you with treasures, not only in your physical but in your spiritual, in your in every way. And then he's going to give you that one gift that you can't get for yourself. He's going to write your name in the Lamb's book of life. And yes. when you put this earth, because you've been born twice. See, tomorrow's my birthday. I'll celebrate it. Amen. But that's not the birthday that's important. The most important is the one that was reborn for the second time. And because I was born twice, I'll only die once. Oh, I'll yeah. die in the physical. But the Bible says you pass from death into life. Nice. So I'll die physically, but I'll raise up spiritually. Amen. You've only, been died, you've only been born once. You only celebrate the birthday that you came into the world that you will die twice. You'll die physically, and then you die spiritually. Eternally separated from the love of God. Nobody wants to go there. Mm. Nobody. Even if they don't believe in hell, nobody wants to go. Mm. So rejoice with me. Rejoice with me. Rejoice with me. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we will be glad. We will rejoice. And we will be glad in it. In it. Yes. Rejoice with me. The door of the church stands open, y'all. The door of the church stands open. Jesus says, come unto me, all of you who labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burdens are light. Jesus says, I am the door. That no man cometh unto the Father but by me. If that's you, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart that he was raised from the dead, the Bible declares that you are saved. Amen. In the Lamb's book of life and not a demon in hell can take it out. So on this day, before the day of my birth, what mm -hmm. better day to come to the Lord and say, 
It's me. It's me. I yield. I yield. Father, take yes. comfort. Take me into your house. Take me into your joy. Tired of being sick and tired. And I want you <laughs> to take my life over. And you know, the Lord does interesting things. He flips everything around. The Lord says, in order for you to live, you got to die. In order for you to get, you got to give. Everything that we think about, the Lord flips it around. In order for you to get, you've got to give. Mm. In order for you to live, you've got to die. Mm. Die to yourself, to those things that you aspire for, the things that you hold so near and dear. I remember the, 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 the Commodores made a song that says, those things I thought had so much value, turns out that they had no value at all. And I was a lonely man. Mm. man with, a man with no direction and no purpose. Jesus comes into your life to change that. He gives you a reason for living. You surrender your life only to pick it back up again. And when you leave this planet, when you leave this land of the dying, the Bible says we pass from death to life. Mm -hmm. Rejoice with me. For we have overcome through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Lord, the church is open. Does anyone... Anyone wants to give their life to the Lord, you know what to do. Just call on his name. Just say, it's me. It's me. It's me, oh Lord. I stand in the need of prayer. Yeah. And the Lord will bless you. He will, he will pick you up, turn you around, and place your feet on solid ground. Amen. All of you who labor and are heavy laden, and he will give you rest. Yes. The door of the church stands open. He don't make no junk. No, no, no. Yes, he did. He made you. Mm -hmm. He don't make no junk. Mm -hmm. The door of the church stands open. You're on Facebook. All you got to do is put it in the chat box. We'll get it. And I'll reach out to you. I promise you I'll do it myself. Mm -hmm. Just say, it's me, it's me, it's me. Oh, Lord, I'm the one standing in the need of prayer. God wants to bless you. He's got a treasure of blessings just waiting for you. Just waiting for you. Victorious. We'll be in sanctuary next week. Father, we do thank you so much for the blessings that you bestowed, the grace that you have given. 
And as we prepare ourselves, O oh God, to dismiss from this place, we pray that we'll never be absent from your presence. Send your anointing upon us, O oh God, and bless us real good. Help us to share your word, your way, wherever we go and in every day. Now, Father, have your way with us. Do what you can do. Bless us as only you can. Not because we deserved it, not because we've earned it, but because we know that it's you that make, and you are able, O oh God, to keep us from falling. And you present us faultless before the presence of your Lord, exceeding great joy. You are our only wise God. You are our Savior. And to you belongs glory, majesty, dominion, and power. From this moment forward and even forevermore, the body of believing saints together say the one word that binds us together. We all say amen. 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 God bless Happy you all. Happy birthday, Reverend. Thank you. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy your you. day. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll be on the air. I'll be celebrating on Matters of Faith. So if you want to That's come, right. I'll have a That's right. party tomorrow night. That's right. So, yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you, Robin. Appreciate it. God bless you. Okay. Next Monday, next Sunday is Mother's Day. Oh. Next Sunday is Mother's Day. Mother's That's Day. right. And every now and then my birthday falls on Mother's Day. So Really? Okay. Yeah. Every now and then. Okay. You share Nefertari's birthday, right? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we used to always talk about that. Album. Mm -hmm. and we enjoyed that. We enjoyed that. Amen. Uh, uh, oh, my spirit, I already said it to her. Yes, yes, yes. So you look for something from us and let me know if you got it. <laughs> Thank you. I'll do that. I'll do that. All right. And God oh. bless you, everybody God looking. Bless you. We appreciate you guys. Thank All you right. so much. Have a good day. You too. Thank you.